When I was 18, I thought trading online was my ticket to getting rich fast. I wanted money, success, status, what 18 year old doesn't. And the brokers made it sound so simple. They told me that I was ready, that I was smart, that I could do it. What they didn't tell me is their conflict of interest, that their entire business model depends on me trading as much as possible. Win or lose, they get paid. And I lost, a lot. Over $18,000 with a CFD firm that eventually got sued for malpractice. They offered one to 400 leverage. And this means that with $500 in my account, that let me control $200,000 worth of trades. Sounds powerful, right? But here's the catch. If the market moved just 0.25%, everything was gone. At 18, I had no discipline, no risk management, no emotional control. The result was predictable. I blew up. What I wish I knew at the time is that if you want to be a trader, opening an online account is not the answer. The real path looks like this. Go to university, get a job in the industry, and get paid to learn from the experts who do this for a living. Not the sales reps from the brokerage firms who profit when you fail. Now, before we get into the data, don't just take my word for it. Please be sensible and do your own research. Since 2018, regulators have forced brokers to disclose the ugly truth. The ESMA, the European Securities and Markets Authority, requires brokers to publish what percentage of their clients lose money. Not hidden in the fine print, not buried in a 20-page document, it's right there. Anti-advertising. A banner on their front webpage. And the reality is brutal. Across 25 leading brokers, between 53% and 85% of clients lose money. In an effort to hide this reality, some brokers even try redirecting you to their US or offshore websites. Click the links in the description to see my research and check it out for yourself. It's not just the broker's disclosures. The ESMA report between 74% to 89% of retail traders lose money. An average losses range from 1,600 to 29,000 euros. In the US, the CFTC data, retail traders lose more often than they win, and it's not random chance. A Bloomberg report investigating options trading activity during COVID highlights that retail investors lost $1 billion, mostly from overtrading and paying spreads. The takeaway, the odds are not in your favor. So why do most people fail? It usually comes down to five things. One, leverage. This amplifies wins, but wipes you out fast. Two, conflict of interest. Some brokers literally profit when you lose. Three, trader psychology, overconfidence, fear, greed. Retail traders cannot escape this. Four, lack of education. YouTube gurus selling dreams. Professionals do the opposite. Five, fees, spreads, commissions, swap charges. It's death by a thousand cuts. Conflict of interest is probably the biggest one here and Anton Creel summed it up perfectly. They tell you what you want to hear and assets fake gurus tell you to trade and how they tell you to trade them is actually the reverse of what professionals actually do. I don't regret the lessons I learned, but I regret the cost. Here's what I wish someone told me at 18, don't gamble your future on retail trading, especially alone in your bedroom. Go to university, get a job in the industry, get paid to learn from the people who actually do this for a living. Because finance, especially quant finance, is a marathon, not some get rich quick scheme. I lost $18,000 learning that lesson and hopefully you don't have to.